First of all, I would like to thank uh, National Gallery of Modern Art, Bengaluru, and uh, Dhaka Havisa for uh, inviting me to do this presentation. I have called my presentation Particle of Particles of Truth. There is a uh, very specific uh, reason for that. The, the picture that you are seeing there is uh, from the Kent School Archives. Uh, they had an exhibition, so I recopied from there. The small uh, boy there in the center that you see is one of the earliest uh, photographs of me in the art. Uh, yeah. so from, from my childhood, I was uh, interested in art and then I wanted to join as early as 7th uh, standard. Then her person told me, no, no, you should do 10th standard and come back. So I used to go there for weekend hobby classes and in summer uh, uh, vacations. So this must have been one of the uh, you know, weekends and demonstrations going on. You can see um, Madis are there, Narsimhan and Kushar, one of my seniors, and also that is uh, Mr. Kanyapan who is doing the sculptures uh, uh, in the model. And if I am correct, this is Som Shekhar. Uh, yeah, right. Som Shekhar. Som Shekhar. Yeah. So when I saw this, I was very thrilled because you know, um, it really proves that I was there. <laughs> that time. My thing is, uh, artists are uh, fond of uh, narrating stories about themselves. Uh, more dramatic the more uh, you know, easily or with enthusiasm it is uh, accepted. So uh, a presentation like this uh, can give a certain picture of who I am, how I grew up and what I did and things like that. But uh, that is still a, a, a partial truth, uh, a, you know, a particle of truth I would say. So I, I start with my uh, there will be no more photographs of me, any other perhaps, <laughs> just a beginning of that. And um, I, I start my presentation with this uh, series of books which I did a few years ago. It was called uh, Experiments with uh, Truth. Uh, and as I was just uh, mentioning, that artists are uh, all the time uh, narrating stories about their childhood, about the struggle, uh, how they were, uh, you know, coming up. And, uh, what happened to them and you know where they slept up. So, uh, so that kind of narration becomes a, a, a desert after some time, and then it, it transforms itself, and then uh, you know uh, it, then it becomes historicized, and uh, you know the entire art history is built on that. And uh, there are artists like uh, you know Van Gogh, uh, you know or Picasso. The stories about them are kept alive by the, you know, the publishing industry, by filmmaking, from documentation. From time to time, they revive these the stories of artists. So what I did in this set of uh, five, six books is that I have created stories about myself. And in each one of them, I am in a, a different, uh, uh, you know, uh, position in the world of art. Uh, so in this particular uh, uh, book, uh, I have just finished my uh, course, and then I am unable to find uh, a finished art course. I am unable to find a you know, job, and then I go to a restaurant. I am hungry. I eat, and I tell them I can't pay, so they make me, um, you know, do all the dishwashing and all that. Uh, and I am claiming it as a truth. And then there are multiple books, which uh, you know, each one is a different. Uh, this one, the uh, left hand top corner. What you see is, uh, uh, you know, the, uh, I'm a very successful artist. I beat somebody in a party because he calls me a bad artist and I'm jailed. And uh, on the right hand top corner, I, I want to be an artist but I can't become one because of various uh, circumstances. So I end up uh, doing, uh, you know, signboard painting and uh, things like that. And I just uh, entered the, uh, the, you know, from many people uh, in Bangalore. The uh, uh, Chitra Sathya is a big uh, milestone for them and uh, many times when you say you are an artist, uh, they ask me, have you shown the Chitra So for them it's like a, you know, a, a, a landmark kind of thing. So in this particular book, I have been rejected by the Chitra uh, committee and uh, what I have done is, 
and Chitta Sathya, there are no boundaries. What they mark there and after that also there are people who come and show. So I have shown my marks there and then somebody has come and shown interest and they gave me a card and that has opened up an avenue into the world. Apart. So in that, in that I am on the almost edge of the uh, this one. In the lower bottom, I am uh, a security guard in a jewelry shop and uh, I am interested in art but there is no recourse because of the various circumstances and uh, there is a mural by B.K. Swarma and uh, I see it every day, one, one day he comes there and I tell him I am very interested, so he says come to my house and so it becomes a you know, mix of fiction and facts and, and of course B.K. Swarma I knew him from my childhood, Ganjam shop I know, so it's a mix like that. And in the, the extreme corner of the bottom side, I am a performing uh, uh, performance hall and uh, I have gone there and I am sitting with beggars in uh, you know majestic in Annama temple and the beggars don't allow me to sit there they think I'm a competitor so I get a police uh, protection and I sit there and take some photographs and so uh, basically my understanding of uh, the art world is that if you see museum as the sacrosanctum and then you know there are layers and layers for one to uh, you know reach there and uh, so in this uh, in this book these two books were shown in a binale of uh, paper art in the uh, UK, five countries, it was starting from uh, two years. For in one, uh, that uh, I'm a security guard in, in Jamindar's house, and his son realizes that uh, I have some art uh, talent. So he takes me to Kent School and he says, I will pay for your uh, uh, education, you should go and join. And uh, of course, he has a uh, liking for me, and it becomes a different kind of uh, uh, yes, and the last one, I am a studio assistant and I am all the time trying to become the artist who is the, my master there and then when he is not there I play pranks and in, in this particular thing I am posing for him for a painting. So uh, I am trying to position all these stories at different stages of an artist's uh, career or uh, whatever growth uh, one says. So after, after just about say two decades or three decades these stories will get hopefully get mixed up with my own uh, stories and then muddles of the whole uh, uh, this one and nobody will be able to know who I was and what my real uh, this one is. So that, that is the idea that you know the idea of the artist's true self uh, if there is one and uh, you know so how does one perceive it and how does uh, uh, it, how it is documented how it is uh, propagated by the industry. So now I, I take a big cut and go back to the the first uh, few paintings of uh, me. Uh, these are uh, just, I think, seventh or eighth standard. Uh, my teacher had told me he will be here, BKPC. Uh, that was uh, uh, in seventh standard. Uh, uh, it was a small school in Malaysia called Venkatesh Vidyalaya. They had given me a Kannada space, so I put up strings and I displayed these. So officially, you can say that was my first uh, solo show. So then later uh, I went to, as I told you, uh, this fascination you can see some of the fact, uh, fantasy kind of landscape and my brother was the model there. And uh, the, the central one on top, you can see that was, I was reading a book on Chandrasekhar uh, where he, you know, meets these uh, people who have come to kill him and he hides behind them. Uh, three, yeah, you can see that I started going to the Kent School of Art and you can see some amount of skill building up and uh, some skill life and uh, uh, I used to go and do landscapes in Kaval Park and uh, Lalbagh and all that and then uh, at least on two occasions I met Rumale and he called me to his home and me to his home and then he gave me a catalogue with sign and all that and uh, the landscape that you see at the right hand bottom corner that was uh, the last day of my high school I was so uh, you know, uh, excited that I am no more going to study uh, in a very conventional way and then I had taken my all my material, paper, colour, everything, wrote the exam, went out to the park in Gandhinagar High School, opposite to them, did the landscape and came home. So that was the day of uh, uh, freedom uh, one can say. Some works from my Kent School days, two years I studied in Kent School, uh, 80, to 85 and um, as any art school would have uh, you know, conventions of uh, still life and portrait and things like that. So I did uh, 
all those uh, things and I, I was very fond of uh, pastels and uh, used to get your pastel called Apsara, very soft pastel, I used to do that. And then some of these were, uh, what you see on top, they were done at home and uh, I used to always, uh, you know, in, uh, other teachers, not not uh, they would say this is not still life and I, I used to have constant arguments with them. And um, the one uh, that you see in black and white, uh, that day Harpa was there, I was doing this one and I said, see if you can just, you know, uh, extrude one part of it and now it will become uh, a, a you know, abstract kind of uh, form. And um, what you see on the extreme right down is the, one of the attempts at trying to do the whole still life in collage and uh, resolve the issues in a very different way. Some uh, portraits and uh, just then that machine had come, the lithography machine and uh, the lot of printmaking activity going on in uh, Ken School at that time. Um, I remember very uh, vividly Shiva Prasad, Sham, Mani, uh, many others would spend a lot of time doing prints there. And I come from a background where my father had a letter press uh, printing uh, uh, shop, so it was easy for me to get roller and ink and all that. So I did a lot of, uh, and that was one of the one and only self portrait that I've done on the left hand uh, bottom corner. <coughs> These were some of the uh, attempts at uh, you know doing prints. Uh, what I used to do is uh, I used to make uh, a wax bed and then carve into that and then take a print and then melt the wax again and then you know, re reuse them. So that was one of the and because the wax was soft, it, it was able to take impressions as you can see, uh, you know, uh, some kind of pattern is also uh, developed there. And uh, you can see um, other artists coming there, monk is there, uh, this is one of the Shantanikasan sculptures. Uh, uh. So vaguely remembered the uh, kind of uh, influence from other artists. And uh, the one on the right hand bottom corner that is uh, entirely done with stamps, uh, various kinds of stamps and I was trying to create a city scape uh, you know. uh, 85 and I moved to Chitakala uh, Parishad because at, at that time they were giving degree um, BFA so uh, out of a class of 10 I think 8 of us or 7 of us moved over to uh, CKP and um, some of the works which were done in those uh, few years. Uh, as usual, the, the uh, portrait and life study, um, and some, if there, was a, if there would be given a theme, and then one had to uh, you know, work on that compositions and things like that. Um, that was the rainy day. And uh, what you see at the traditional painting, that was the uh, compulsory optional subject. So which one had to do and uh, we didn't know why we were doing it and even even the attempt to the you know the still life and the portrait uh, that was a very basic level uh, a, a life study model would shake and the still life would not shake so it, but we didn't you know now I realize what kind of approach uh, was happening there we didn't know the name of the model we didn't know if you had a family whether the model was his name where did he stay nothing there was no connection with the model he would just come and sit there and then he would, you know, he or she would, would draw and so it was as, as uh, you know, uh, basic at that uh, This was I think the Nandi temple, uh, the landscape uh, I was very fond of printmaking uh, at that time and printmaking was one of the optional uh, subject and uh, most of the uh, afternoons post 4 o'clock was spent there I did, uh, and there were a lot of workshops at that time, you know, Krishna Reddy came and uh, there were various workshops, so we were observers and in the night we would try our hand and um, I did uh, lithographs and uh, you know, etchings and uh, Dubey was there, so he would really uh, allow us to use the uh, studio and do a lot of work. So I explored quite a bit of uh, uh, graphic medium. And uh, what you see on the right hand bottom corner, that is uh, some of the works which I was doing as I was leaving the Mangalore. And I don't know why I was doing the distortion of the uh, shoulder, the going up like that, but uh, that was supposed to be my style at that time. So. Some more prints from that uh, time. Um, you can again see the shoulder there. And 
But this idea of search has remained uh, in my work um, and, and it keeps coming up again and again. Uh, so these are some of the, uh, later I will be showing one small set of uh, works where I try to uh, analyze or come, bring together different kind of works uh, from same themes. There is a small uh, wood engraving on the right hand bottom corner there. Uh, 88, 88 to 90 was the Baroda as well. And uh, by the time I went there, I was quite uh, familiar with the printmaking medium, so it was a question of extending the uh, practice. Um, but in both uh, uh, Baroda and uh, CKP, there's, uh, I must say now, uh, there is hardly any discussion about uh, imagery and the process of developing a uh, work and things like that. I wish we had such, uh, you know, uh, discussion. I would have said about a decade at least very easily. The left hand uh, top uh, this one is, uh, you know, it's me. At that time, I was uh, uh, very much uh, part of uh, Bacon's, Nancy Bacon's work. You can see some of the, uh, you know, influences there. This was a set of uh, two prints, one was called uh, Presence, the other was called Absence. And um, the, those two lithographs, uh, one was the first one, then I slightly transformed it, and the second one was the number next one. This uh, an attempt to capture some of the, the personal moods and uh, perhaps project it onto uh, other uh, figures. A lot of uh, Melancholy, a lot of sorrow. Um, <coughs> it's got eternal uh, waiting for the, um, the right hand uh, side uh, print was done in Bhopal. Uh, there was a camp of uh, all the students from across India. So I met both there and various other artists. Ninety-one was my first photo show in Pandur, and uh, we showed uh, a lot of prints and uh, glass paintings. And these are some of the glass paintings which I done. And what I was trying to do was basically uh, what I realized now is I was trying to extend the, the language of printmaking with lines, uh, but adding color to it. And then if you see some of the lithographs which I had shown earlier, this looks like more like a colored uh, lithograph, and because one can do drawing and then start. Applying color from the back side. And these are not very big actually, they are, uh, you know, what, some 10 inches, 12 inches, so out of proportion, uh, you know, enlarged now, so it is difficult to. But I was, I was using different color pencils, uh, glass marking pencils, and then I would work with uh, acrylic or, uh, you know, fabric paint, and then use colored uh, uh, sheet in the back side. And uh, as, uh, but at that time, there was a lot of uh, interest in the reverse painting, even in Kent school, Arpad used to do and uh, so we had seen that maybe that was added over from there. Some more uh, glass paintings. Three, uh, three and uh, I had moved away from glass painting and I was doing uh, uh, acrylic on, on canvas. Some of these are uh, fairly large uh, works, 6 feet, 5 feet and all that. Um, I was uh, uh, collecting some of these uh, photographs and then slightly transforming them and then adopting them in my work. I showed some of them in Baroda in a, in a two artist show with Sridhar in uh, 93. Some small watercolors and uh, the left hand side was one of the uh, slightly bigger work. By the time I came to the end of 93, 
I was quite unhappy with the uh, way my work was going. And uh, many friends who saw, they would say, oh, Baroda, I know somehow, I don't know what was uh, that, uh, was prompting that kind of uh, uh, comment. But I wanted to get out of that, get out of that uh, particular uh, thing. So I literally started cutting my own work and then make uh, new collages out of them. So you can see bits and pieces of other works coming together and then becoming something else. It was almost uh, you know, deconstructing a, 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 a set of works and then creating a new set of imagery. Uh, this I showed in Pandora in 94. Uh, Sudhir Patwardhan had come there at that time and he said you should use this as a study and take this further. But uh, for some reason, I don't know, maybe I didn't uh, understand what he was saying. So I, I could not sustain uh, this further in the sense I could not use it as a study and then make larger canvases based on that, as he was suggesting. Uh, sometimes I feel that I have done that. I, know, I wish I had done that. Um, I can see a lot of potential uh, in those uh, works. End of 94, I joined Army and uh, some free time was there, but there was not enough uh, space to do bigger work. So I started exploring. See, instead of using my own work as a ready made, I said, What if I take ready uh, printed you know, images and then uh, start uh, building up uh, you know, collages from that? And uh, I did uh, quite a bit of uh, uh, work, but it was never shown, not even one piece was shown anyway. But I learned. Uh, many lessons uh, from that exercise, and uh, you can see later uh, how it, it uh, you know plays out in my work. Especially this idea of uh, you know two two sides that you're seeing in the bed and the sky is so, one uh, starts becoming a kind of uh, way I uh, build up my artist books. This was ninety. Uh, 596. Those uh, 94 show also I showed in Ektapa and then it was taken to uh, Pandur. This show also I showed in uh, uh, Ektapa. Nauzar was there at that time and uh, we did this show together. And this is one of the large works which Yusuf has in his collection now. Uh, from 5 feet by 6 feet I think. So I was trying to slightly extend what I was doing in those uh, watercolors. I tried to bring in imagery from the city. Uh, you know, a collage of images, impressions, um, marks and things like that. You can see partly a billboard here, a small house there, I think. And there are also small pasted uh, uh, paper pieces which gets integrated into the uh, work. Some more works from that. Uh, that. But what I'm trying to do is just show three, four works from each uh, uh, you know, phase. But uh, in each, there will be at least 30, 40 works. Uh, you know, so that is the kind of uh, exploration that went on. So it was uh, still a, you know, a urban centric or uh, trying to capture moments of uh, you know, visual from a city. Uh, some of these slightly larger, that is six feet by um, three feet uh, like that. Very intricately, the, the uh, painting was built up layer by layer using acrylic uh, uh, paint. And if you see closely, you'll be able to uh, figure out there are pieces of uh, you know printed uh, images which are part of the whole. Uh, A little later, I was trying to see if I can uh, totally or together remove uh, the elements of representation in my work. So it became more and more uh, uh, large figurative and uh, just, uh, uh, you know, a certain amount of working with color and form and, uh, uh, you know, arrangements like that. For a year and or two years, I think I was trying to go in that direction. I, I really enjoyed the, the tactile uh, uh, part of the uh, work, you know, applying the color, waiting for it to dry, again come back to it in a different layer. And uh, even now from time to time I do uh, some works just to enjoy the... Uh, and what you see on the right side were my first uh, uh, attempts 
but uh, engaging with computer there were some computers in army so in a free time i started um, you know playing around with them uh, with the uh, basic uh, tools like uh, paint brush and all that and uh, you can see some small works which are related to what was happening in my uh, paintings and uh, other mediums So when, when it went to the extreme where I could not see anything there, I was uh, somewhat uh, uh, you know, um, dissatisfied or uh, wanted to bring something else, maybe an image of a, a you know, representational nature. Uh, so I started bringing a very small, very highly realistically painted uh, uh, images. We can see the uh, key there, or uh, you know, the door uh, uh, detail there. So the painting would be largely uh, like my earlier other work and these, these kind of uh, images were inserted into that in a certain way and they started floating in that uh, space. When I am showing these works they look very logical, uh, almost in a neat kind of uh, you know, uh, development from one, one to the other, it, it doesn't happen like that. So there are a lot of dead ends or failed works, so uh, anyone uh, uh, you know, uh, who has seen an artist's uh, uh, you know, body of work are aware of that uh, multiple uh, attempts which are made and a presentation like this gives a very different kind of idea of how the work is going right it makes a very neat logical uh, you know, uh, uh, logical path is taken but in, in insight these things happen but uh, when when one is actually working it is uh, like driving in the night you just see the next uh, you know, few hundred feet and nothing more than that and then one is going by very intuitive way of trying to figure out what can be done next. <clears throat> By 97, 98, I was uh, again, you know, somewhat uh, um, dissatisfied with how the work was going on. So I started exploring uh, material. Uh, we have this uh, Kathi Mata paper making unit near my house. So I started buying pulp from there. And I started doing casting of uh, small things. And that was one of the first uh, TV uh, set I did the casting and not very successful, but these became uh, you know, a certain kind of uh, what should I say direction for me to take uh, paper making as a, a, a major interest in the coming uh, years. These uh, the lower uh, bottom sculptures were made with uh, MCL and uh, you know, things like that. Later, I could give that um, effect of a metal. Uh, so for the first time, relief elements are coming in. The element of sculptures are coming in. The work in the center uh, got me the national award, uh, um, which is called Encounter. And uh, what you see is, uh, you know, the gun and things like those were cast in the uh, purple, and that is in a separate uh, in, in the bottom. Another there is a glass. On the glass from inside, I painted these figures. And for the first time, I think uh, the image of Gandhi started appearing in my work. Which has uh, uh, been one more, uh, you know, theme that I have uh, come back to again and again uh, over a period of time. So as I was doing those uh, um, objects, uh, object pasted works, and then I, I started collecting a lot of wrappers uh, 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 because I started liking them in form and things like that. Uh, this show which uh, I did in Sumka. Uh, it was called shifting periphery where I was uh, collecting rubbish which was already thrown out of the cycle and then bringing back or enlarging the cycle of usage and then adopting it as, as part of my work. So I started pasting them and uh, painting on them, uh, integrating into my work. Uh, you can see that, that white and white, uh, you know, that look, I, I quite like it and then uh, that was also another reason why I, I do a lot of work in white uh, when I do in them. This particular work on the left side, uh, I remember one work by Harpad uh, where he had uh, done with uh, you know um, this kind of corrugated sheet and then he had used this uh, stick, uh, match sticks. Now that, that work haunted me a lot. Maybe that was the reason uh, this, this work has come here. So this was wrappers and then uh, you know, uh, so what somebody had used the inner part and then uh, used once and thrown away. So I started bringing it back. Uh, 
uh, into the uh, stream again and then gave a different kind of value to them. The left hand top corner work uh, was done in Chukandan, uh, was called the uh, few artists, me, Shanti Arsana. I'll uh, to stay there and work for a week. And uh, I, I did that work there. Uh, the, and I used uh, you know, fish bone and things like that. I, I like that format of the book. And uh, the first time, I think I explored the idea of a folding uh, uh, thing and uh, placing it on a, a stand like that which gave a different kind of meaning to the work. So, little later I started the, uh, using that format and uh, I can now say inside that that was the beginning of my interest in book format and you know, a, a double side. Uh, uh, the other three were part of my show in uh, Madeira. There were paintings on the wall and uh, um, these were on the ground on this they all done in uh, you know MDF board, I'd coat the MDF board and uh, uh, use acrylic paint and there are also objects pasted on them and then uh, so it was a continuation of my shifting periphery kind of work but in a slightly different way and uh, more images were coming. From here onwards uh, I, I take a very big uh, uh, you know uh, what shall I say a, a fork um, Okay, this is a, my, my work was going on in two, three different uh, directions. I was doing painting and I was doing work in uh, paper pulp and then I also started using photographs uh, as uh, either on its own or as, as part of the resource of my work. So the presentation from here on will be mostly the work which I've done in paper and then artist works. And uh, uh, because the time constraint, uh, I have not shown any of my paintings or my photographic uh, uh, the uh, paper making, uh, my teacher Jackie Perry. Uh, for the first time, I was exposed to a, a, a kind of teaching system where the student uh, was the one who would decide what would happen in the course. Uh, so the day I went there, she said, uh, Why have you come here? I said, I have given a full one page uh, report on why I am here. She said, No, no, you come up with a plan for the four months. What is that you are going to learn here? Uh, each week, how will you go about my uh, approaching that and all that. So after a week or so, after uh, you know, studying some books and all, I went with her um, and she was in the printmaking department on the other side of the road. So she would come and spend an hour or a few hours every week, teach me something and go then I would, I was the only student in the printmaking resource center at that time. The whole, uh, you know, uh, printmaking uh, department was in my uh, this one. So I would explore uh, so many things and then next week she would come and teach me something else. So I was uh, you know, for the first time, uh, thrilled by this idea that I can decide what I want to, you know, and it also, in a way, opened up a new way of, uh, you know, teaching in art schools. So, uh, also, uh, this idea of uh, object becoming an extended personality started appearing here. Uh, I know a glass or a brush or a, I know, something that I've eaten and left out, um, things like that. So, I will take uh, a, uh, you know, impression. Uh, these are all three piece uh, uh, works. They have been stitched together. And what you see as yellow is actually a uh, color pulp uh, which has been done on a base white sheet and things like that. And uh, the relief was also part of the mold which I had created. Then later I would join them and, and draw on them and how it is transferred and all that. I showed them in Glasgow and then we showed it in Bangalore, Chennai. Uh, after I, I had started making this paper, and uh, this is uh, this is called a sandwich technique, uh, where you make two sheets, and in between the sheets you put off, you know, small maybe paper or photographs and things like that, and sandwich them together. So I had made these sheets, and I wanted to make a small diary of my visit to Glasgow. So after coming back, and uh, um, one of the teachers there had taught me how to transfer images from Xerox, from photocopy. So I used the technique. And I made uh, this set of uh, uh, you know, sheets and I perforated them so that it looks like as if I have taken out uh, you know, it from a, a diary and then uh, displaying them separately. And uh, you know, of course, it narrates us, uh, you know, uh, how I went there and what I saw and my experience with the teacher and things like that. But uh, without realizing, I was going in a 
a slightly new direction where I want to make diaries and uh, you have seen that other work where uh, uh, you know so after doing this I, I was uh, thinking can I make a, a book kind of form in paper pulp and then extend this uh, kind of imagery there and this was the first set of uh, uh, books which I did like this this was shown in a British Council show uh, in three four cities in uh, uh, in India and uh, this was a set of five books and they were shown in a small vitrine uh, like that, like a museum kind of uh, piece. And uh, the, the text that you see, uh, again, you know, uh, a new direction in a sense. Earlier, the text was not so prominent in my work. Uh, from here onwards, it became uh, one of the uh, elements which would be present in the work and then affect the uh, visual, uh, sometimes uh, decide the whole direction of the work. The Odyssey and the images they were transferred uh, from photocopy. Then I would work on them and uh, enhance the uh, and change the quality of the image. This was uh, uh, a work called Everything Happens Twice. This was uh, part of a show called Edge of Desire, so, which I did a Saturday period. It went to five, day, five different uh, countries, different museums. and. Um, the, the, the Glasgow stay for me was an eye opener in the sense there was a huge library, so I started spending a lot of time in the evenings and I would borrow books and I started uh, covering up areas which I which were not covered in my uh, uh, almost a gap of 10 12 years by the time. So I started reading a lot and then I became aware of the uh, in a different kind of language of uh, using the image and the way uh, text affects it. These works are about uh, the TV and uh, the tickers, news stickers which keep coming there. Uh, how, what kind of relation it has with the image and uh, how it affects our uh, seeing. And uh, the very fact of flipping through the TV, you know, you know, looking at the TV, halfway through somebody is dying, then you flip through, then somebody is laughing. So it becomes a, a huge collage of images which uh, unrelated, uh, uh, you know, was trying to capture that uh, kind of you know, very static uh, Some works uh, a little later, in 2005, on, uh, this was shown in Suresh Jairam's uh, <coughs> uh, gallery on Shanti Road. I had done this uh, t-shirts cast in uh, uh, Pal and uh, the text which was coming on that, I made a stencil. And um, it was called uh, 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 chapter because it is as if the t-shirts are talking to each other. When somebody wears a t-shirt, he's saying something about, of course, if he is very conscious about what kind of uh, text uh, is there or uh, text or image is there on the t-shirt then you are uh, you know, with purpose you are wearing it so uh, I was trying to juxtapose or uh, make these t-shirts uh, talk to each other what says don't come here by other says no touch so there is a jumble of uh, uh, different kind of messages coming through in those uh, t-shirts This uh, uh, set of works was shown uh, in Bangalore and then I took it to Santa Fe, uh, which was a, a big art fair there. There was a set of 37 or 38 books, if I remember correctly. And uh, each one had a certain uh, you know, specific the text, uh, like here, ch Chasing Dreams, that would decide all the uh, images that would come around that and the text I would write and part of the uh, partly in Canada, partly in English. Uh, so the idea was that only somebody who knows both English and Canada can comprehend the whole book and uh, nobody else. And uh, this uh, this idea of going on like a very casual journal or a diary where uh, you, know, you can put in things, scratch, you know, this, all that, that kind of uh, feel I wanted for the book. If you see just below the chasing, there is an image of a man salivating and um, that uh, image kept coming in my, uh, you know, I, I maintain a, a journal of uh, ideas which come to me, uh, almost I carry the book with me uh, everywhere. So as and how ideas pop up or sometimes I sit deliberately for some time and try to develop ideas. So in those uh, books, this, uh, uh, you know, tongue coming out or lacerating, you know, 
it was coming for a very long time, almost five, six years. Then I will show you later it became a complete work uh, on its own. So I was I was doing a series of paintings along with this, uh, and uh, uh, images were traveling from painting to uh, book, from book to painting, or photographs like that. So there was a lot of give and take between them, and. Uh, there is another uh, uh, a donkey there which is carrying a uh, load and something is tied to its head that also became another sculpture uh, later. So this is part of the bigger set of 30, uh, 39 books which uh, It was also about uh, you know how um, if I put together a set of books with different kind of text, uh, our, our the way we look at the work, we, you start combining them, you start building up a, a narrative around that. So I was playing on that. It was quite in between, uh, in the sense that you are uh, you know, slipping from one to the other and making connections. And many of these, uh, uh, the, like say, making you no signal, I, I would, uh, uh, you know, I'm looking at a magazine or an advertisement and I would write it in my book and that became one uh, uh, you know, text there. And many times I used it because it became a very, uh, you know, key word for a potential uh, development. In this work about fate, uh, you can see one man is on a pedestal that becomes uh, more authentic and the man who doesn't have the pedestal becomes fake. Uh, you know, other kind of uh, so this whole idea of what is authentic, what is not. Uh, the whole book will become an inquiry about uh, these kind of ideas. Uh, um. This was not pre-planned in the sense uh, I would not plan the whole book. I would start collecting images and uh, around that one you know, central text and then start placing them in the tasks for them and then the text would come in. This was shown in the uh, uh, and then Korea and in the art field there. The entire uh, uh, thing was made in paper and uh, what you see as an armor, it was built around a uh, mannequin and then I released it from the uh, mannequin. The whole idea of combining this very fragile uh, material of paper uh, with the idea of security that the armor can keep, I wanted the juxtaposition to bring out uh, uh, a different kind of norms there. So what was just a relief uh, element in the paper, paperwork, we started exploring it as a, a sculptural uh, uh, kind of form and uh, trying to explore uh, its potential as much as possible. This was also uh, shown in Korea at a much later date. Recently I had shown this in uh, Bangalore in UB city. Uh, this was about memory slips, how we remember the things in our brain, uh, a, an experience which creates a somatic uh, marker in the brain. Uh, so it's like a tag. So you build millions of that kind of tags and then uh, build your pattern. So and there were these uh, you know posted kind of notes, but I had made drawings on that text on that, so I pasted on each one of these. And uh, the the tassels that you see, each one is made from a, a different kind of uh, pulp. One is made from uh, you know banana, another is made from grass, uh, arakanel. Uh, and I know like I say like that, so that's why the color of each one is uh, different. In my studio, I make paper from different kind of plant fibers, and then when the paper is fresh, I you know uh, use it in uh, you know creating sculptures and so on. These were some attempts to uh, bring elements which are uh, appearing in my painting into the book. Uh, uh, so they were done with watercolor and. Uh, Pastels, and then there were photographic references. This particular one in the left hand bottom corner, then those were the photographs actually pasted on here. By this, by this time, I had already started exploring uh, photographs uh, in my studio in the sense I would arrange objects, and uh, we have this concept called Sanidhi in the Indian uh, aesthetics. Sanidhi means when, uh, in the presence of. 
Uh, when two objects come together, when two images come together, there is a third meaning that is generated uh, in the frame uh, context. So I was trying to uh, explore this idea of uh, things coming together and uh, what, what, what is the kind of meaning it uh, generates and uh, the kind of uh, suggested meaning. What was important for me was the suchyata, uh, the suggestion, or the dhvani. Uh, so I was uh, more and more interested in uh, what is uh, the kind of the subtext which was coming through and suggested the meanings which was coming through. Another uh, entirely done in watercolor and head and some stencils and all that. Fairly large uh, book, I think some three feet or something. When you do larger works in paper, it takes hours together to you know, cast it. Sometimes, uh, you know, three, four of us uh, might have got uh, my, my driver, I've trained him in paper making. My uh, Anuradhka, who works with me, also is trained. So, we work together as a team and uh, do this uh, work. This was uh, uh, this is what I was uh, uh, mentioning uh, the uh, idea of tongue as a as a image of lacerating and uh, you know desiring. So it, uh, suddenly it, it came together and became a very big uh, work. About six feet and out. There are close to thousand uh, uh, tongues there, about thousand designs. And uh, I wanted that very uh, glossy kind of look, so I applied the. Uh, um, on this one, there are about 30 or 40 uh, different tongues. Uh, Nidhi, who is here, uh, you know, comes to my studio and helps me in some of these. And um, so we made about uh, 30 different kind of tongues, and then uh, week after week, we used to uh, cast them in red color pen. And it is uh, on the spot installed on the wall. So it takes about 7 8 hours to do that. Later, I, uh, first it was shown in Delhi, then I showed it in Canada. These were some of the papers which I had made in uh, uh, Korea, where I had gone in 2009 to learn uh, Korean paper making. They make a special paper called Hanji, uh, which can survive for three, four hundred years. It's completely organically made from Mulberry um, Park. And uh, I learned it from a teacher uh, uh, you know, who is uh, declared as a national asset in, in Korea. And uh, he didn't know English, his son knew a little bit of English, so I managed to communicate and uh, learn it. So these papers are very strong, they look very fragile. And, uh, and I used Japanese raka to color that, that kind of slight doubt. <coughs> this particular work is about, uh, I went to, um, I was doing a series of photographs on Gandhi at that time. And as part of that, I go to all the museums across India to see his uh, his objects, uh, uh, objects that he used, kept there. And I started drawing them, photographing them. And this became a work where uh, instead of having the Gandhi's ideas or the personality, the objects became uh, very important and uh, celebrated. The uh, you know fork that he touched has been kept there. His uh, nature. So. You know, what what uh, started as uh, st I know interest in object in Glasgow uh, as uh, an object becoming an extension of uh, the individual's personality uh, comes again and again as, as a connection in my work. This was shown in a, in a major uh, uh, show of artist books in China and uh, then it was shown in Shanghai uh, Museum. Uh, not Shanghai, sorry, uh, Shadza Museum, where Pala had curated a show of uh, uh, Indian and Pakistani uh, printmakers. Another uh, artist book, uh, so almost for about seven, eight years, I, I didn't even know I was doing, uh, there was a name for the kind of work which I was doing. And uh, 2006, seven when I started, uh, um, when I started traveling, went to UK, I uh, got some books, then I realized, okay, this is the kind of, uh, this is an entire genre of work which are called artist books, I fit into that. And, uh, you know, so this is how, uh, so how this, uh, 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 this I wanted to bring back the connection with, uh, you know, palm leaf uh, books. So I made the sheets and then I uh, used tea decoction and I 
made them brownish and uh, each one has some uh, images and then text which are related to them and you can separate them and read them together. The, the book was called uh, Banana and the Sword, it was sold in UK and some collector they had it. This whole idea of Banana and the Sword was uh, how uh, extreme uh, force is used in our times to solve very minor uh, problems. So it becomes a, a kind of uh, ego issue sometimes or just the showing of power. So you send the missiles and drones and kill two people and things like that. This particular text that is there, uh, I just want to read that. Ageya Bitti Bedaja Vage, Kukada Kemput Tiriji Tuhege. Dina Dina Vu, Nire Redu, Saki, Saluhila Alugu, Bear Bitto, Dharati Bagedam. If you are uh, um, breeding, uh, you know, knives and things like that, you don't expect, uh, you know, suddenly becoming uh, lovers and they are going to, um, uh, you know, pierce the earth more and more as, as time goes by. So uh, this was uh, a project which came to me, uh, the gallery in Delhi, they said you have to make uh, 12 prints, uh, but there should be drawing on that. So since I was working with the book form, uh, what you can see the book form and there are these relief uh, elements, one side it says uh, hold, other, says, uh, other side says let go, so I was interpreting in each book uh, different, uh, uh, in different uh, ways those two words. And uh, well, what does it mean to hold things and what does it mean to let go and to what extent one can do that. I started exploring that and this particular work um, uh, somehow transformed my further work in the sense I started enjoying the, the drawing, the kind of uh, uh, simplicity it brings to the work and the enormous transformation it can bring to the work. Because parallelly I was doing uh, other works which I don't have there. So it's a fairly realistic, uh, you know, the stone poster kind of work. But I was not happy there. So this offered a, a kind of solution of how one can get out of the, um, the realistic uh, one and then start transforming the experience and image. And um, I really enjoyed uh, this process of drawing and then later so many of my works have become drawing based. And very little of, uh, you know, it's quite academic realistic uh, um, presentation. The last one uh, on the right hand bottom corner, uh, there is this uh, uh, face which is breathing in and breathing out. So neither can you hold uh, all, all, time, all the time and then neither can you let go completely. So that was the uh, almost like a, you know, um, a beautiful, uh, uh, what shall I say, confusion, this whole set of uh, books uh, gave. This book was done uh, uh, for a show. Uh, we had in Rangashankara. Uh, we had to respond to uh, Girish Khanat's uh, book. So I chose uh, uh, his work, Keep a Broken uh, Images. Uh, uh, so on one side, uh, it, it, two sides of me being uh, represented there, uh, but it's all in bits and pieces, and as if one cannot hold the whole uh, uh, together. It was not devised on the computer before. Physically, I made pieces and then started shifting them and uh, made the whole uh, uh, thing on a, on, a, on, a, on a ground and then later it was uh, uh, in the same way pasted on the floor. These are some individual uh, books which went to um, the, the top uh, two books were shown in Hungary in an artist book uh, show. And uh, the, the bottom two was one in Bangalore in Gallery Diary. It was a show about uh, poetry and artists relating to uh, the text there. Uh, if you look at these books, they are uh, somewhat different from my other uh, books which I started with, where it was a, a kind of diary, as a free flowing uh, set of images. Uh, this is more like a proper earlier miniature kind of uh, thing where you have one image and one text both are responding to. Each other. The text on the left hand uh, top, uh, we are on the same uh, page, but uh, I don't want letters to come in between. So, very, uh, you know, uh, 
small uh, text there which I wrote. The other one uh, says I could read her like an open book until she created a password. So uh, what I was writing and then I started uh, you know, adapting them as part of the uh, material much bigger way. And uh, I like that uh, uh, you know, typewriter font. Uh, you know, my father was a typist, so I have that uh, affinity for that. So I started using that uh, also as uh, part of the. And there are these uh, belief uh, things which have come there. Uh, the entire thing was done in clay first, and then we have to do the casting in uh, POP and then uh, in uh, paper. It's actually a very long uh, uh, procedure. This was uh, uh, a book uh, called Book of Errors. Uh, it was uh, supposed to go uh, for a show and then there was an error in the communication so uh, it didn't go, it stayed with me. And then different ways of uh, understanding mistake, error and uh, Uh, which I have done before, this one has the, uh, you know, this has given me the opportunity to explore at length that one theme, that one uh, central idea uh, in the work. And uh, I have done several uh, books like that. This one is uh, uh, a photo book uh, where I use photographs and uh, uh, some, some of them are transferred uh, text and all, or drawings on them. This is a one of, uh, uh, one of which is a unique book uh, because these were prints which I used as source for some of the paintings which I had done and then parts of it I cut and then I created new books uh, from that. And if you see some of the earlier works you can see the idea of juxtaposing are bringing together two images and how they affect each other and, uh, and also in this kind of book you can see there is a, a link up between the page 1 to page 2, page 3, so you can start building up a, 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 a narrative there. This was uh, a book called My Dear, um, which I showed in Australia. Uh, there was a, um, a big show of artist books. The entire uh, set of photographs, there are more sheets which I don't have, not included here. They are all taken in a mobile of my you know, uh, fingers and nails and hands and things like that. This whole idea of uh, and when you when a mobile, uh, with the earlier mobile with the camera was not very good. But it started giving a certain uh, vague image but one could still make out this part of a body and there is a mystery there, you are wondering uh, in which part of the body. So there is a guessing game there. And the second idea was that why every photograph has to be a crisp photograph which has to reveal everything in one go. So I used it and uh, there are some texts in between which uh, keep appearing which says I love you but I don't know you and uh, you know, um, I can't see you, I am so close I can't see you clearly. So just very little text but mostly it's, it's, uh, uh, it's going along with the uh, images. This was a, a large uh, set of works which um, uh, is a commissioned work actually, but uh, the theme was so interesting I agreed uh, to do that. Done for a company called Mariko in uh, Mumbai. Uh, the entire wall, as you can see, is a uh, different set of work. The theme was five senses and uh, uh, exploring beyond that. So the whole uh, about nine months I was uh, working on this uh, commission and then for each one we created a separate uh, uh, in the mold and then we were casting. Uh, initially what started as just uh, you know touch and hear and see then started becoming other variations of that and what kind of truth one is getting from the, uh, the senses and how does one uh, misinterpret that or reinterpret that and what kind of truth or partial truth one is getting. So I got this um, uh, elephant uh, story from the Jain system where the blind people are uh, uh, exploring the elephant and giving their uh, uh, you know version of the elephant and um, so I, in, in this process I started uh, exploring various uh, you know uh, what should I say philosophical uh, uh, approaches to 
the idea of truth and how Jain uh, uh, philosophy uh, doesn't approve of one uh, absolute uh, I know, truth. It says partial truth. So that has really um, you know, affected my way of thinking and how I approach. That's why I know the initial title of particles of truth uh, has appeared. And then this idea of uh, seeing the positive and the negative, uh, the, this whole idea of uh, hand becoming the eye, uh, an extension of the personality. Like. This uh, is called random destiny. Um, these were lying in Suraj Zairam's house and I just picked it up. They are from this uh, chakar weaving uh, punch card. And uh, I initially I thought I will draw on them because they started looking to me like this, you know, palm leaf uh, uh, manuscript kind of format and color. But then later the is whatever I uh, introduce there will not go along with the um, the uh, punch card uh, this one. So I uh, and then for me, um, you know, punch card uh, is like a destiny for the design. Whatever is there that, that keeps continuing and. Um, uh, one of the questions I again and again have touched in my work is how free is one, one person and in India as an individual, how free you are and what, what amount of uh, you know, predetermined destiny is controlling your uh, actions and things like that. And uh, so what I have done is I have uh, introduced different quotes there, big ones, which will uh, alter the destiny of the design that is going to come out of the uh, and I have, I have shown it like a book also, so it's a multi-purpose uh, you know. The word random destiny itself is somewhat uh, paradoxical in that sense. This was for a, a show in uh, Hyderabad uh, which uh, uh, this one curated, um, George Martin. And uh, the theme, uh, the, the, the curator note was about the excess of our uh, consumption pattern and how we go on uh, acquiring and then consuming. So I wanted to um, um, bring that as almost like a statement or something which can be uh, bought. So this entire, the, the, the whole uh, uh, book, uh, sorry, the whole uh, shelf is made from uh, paper, Anji paper. And on that I used the uh, uh, stamp. Uh, it says more, some more, more, some more continuously. You can remember our Prime Minister wearing one such uh, <laughs> name. Uh, uh, and I wanted to try the other uh, uh, other version. What if I uh, make it very very visual, very evocative? Uh, so I made this uh, kind of jackets that uh, you know some politicians wear with very uh, you know golden this one pockets filled with very heavy uh, gold and things like that. So two different approaches, but the uh, and the idea behind the, uh, was the same. The whole uh, uh, the series of actions uh, will follow that. So the choices that you make at each juncture um, decide. So here I am taking the uh, central sort of a circle and in each uh, path uh, it, it becomes uh, uh, of course, that, that the, uh, the garden of working paths uh, goes to this extent of parallel uh, reality where all the options are worked out, are being played out uh, at some point or other. So there is no option left out. But uh, in, in my this one, I try to visually approach that and then the circle gets uh, transformed uh, each step. This we have done with my student as one of the exercises also. You can see for my, uh, this one, my teaching, writing and uh, my personal work, they always, uh, you know, affect each other and what I do here, uh, and get, you know, gets transferred onto the teaching. Uh, this, one. this is another, uh, more like a spine and then from there, the narrative keeps uh, growing in, in two different uh, ways. This is a book uh, which is made from uh, uh, watermark uh, uh, sheets uh, and uh, the whole uh, thing is called crosstalk. Um, uh, in in uh, Sharjah when I showed, there are three different uh, versions of that. Uh, in Sharjah when I showed, as you can see in the word bottle, 
the whole thing was stitched like a uh, you know a one bug, and um, it was all linked from backside. Only when there is a backlight, you can see the watermark and you can see the images. Uh, the book which are done on top, uh, you have to flip through, and there is a time element that is involved in that. So it's like a series of conversations that is going on, which is unraveling the this world. And I've used these black shades in between to you know uh, reveal the watermark. This was one in between work uh, which I did when the BR election cover this was going on. I posted uh, it on the uh, Facebook, and there were different kind of uh, uh, responses to that. And um, only very few people got the kind of sarcasm and uh, irony suggested there. The last one, the black one, uh, I, I posted on the day election results came. Saying that this is the time when cows go home, and after all, there has been no, uh, no talk of it. <laughs> this was uh, shown in Barcelona and um, Italy. Uh, the curator, uh, curator gave the theme of uh, building a book around seeds and uh, this one. So, what I have done is uh, the entire book was shown like a very uh, uh, Object which can be used in an emergency kind of situation, and I am uh, imagining a very apocalyptic kind of uh, situation where everything is lost. So, the sheets, these sheets are made from uh, organic material. In between these sheets, there are seeds which are, uh, uh, you know, uh, sandwiched there. So, you can use the knowledge that is given in the book and given full details about how to so how to grow and what kind of seed and what character and all, and uh, then. Um, one can use it and, and start growing back things again. So, uh, to bring suggestion of an emergency uh, situation, I, I brought in this uh, red box and the uh, handle there. There is a small uh, uh, stone, you can see the full book. A book which this was uh, there is a, a lawyer company called Anand and Anand, and uh, of late uh, they started collecting uh, artist books, especially author books. Author book means there is a, actually there is an existing book, and you make an intervention in the book, and then you bring in new kind of meanings into that. Then they are given a set of books from which I could choose. So I chose this book of uh, standards of wage uh, and measures uh, manual, and I started uh, inserting in this, uh, uh, you know. Uh, conversations which uh, talk about things which cannot be measured easily are uh, uh, standardized about uh, you know uh, love or ego and uh, how we judge each other in the first conversation and uh, uh, the cover itself I change where uh, one is uh, you know measuring the frogs uh, as Canada is uh, one there kapet tak reacting so that literally I got that on the on the cover and then I was trying to change the very meaning of the book. Uh, uh, or bring a, a voice of doubt in the whole book. No, uh, how did you come? You know, one says I came by car, the other says no, it's, it's not good for the environment, so I have to come by cycle. So each one trying to, uh, you know, about happiness, uh, about likes and dislikes. About authentic and fake. Um, there are some conversations about karma and uh, believing in God and things like that. These were printed on the uh, uh, tracing sheet and then I, I pasted them in between the book. So it almost looks like part of the book, and then I have provided this uh, you know marks um, uh, on the uh, on some pages, suggest that you can quickly go there and start uh, you know. Nothing for that way. In the way the, the typography type the fonts are used, uh, typefaces, uh, it, it builds up a certain character for the man who is man, the woman who is speaking, and whether he's loud or weak, or, you know, very conciliatory and things like that. This will be shown, uh, I think, in the next uh, in a couple of months. Uh, they are collecting a lot more books. And we show together the
I have done very few author books, so this was one of the uh, very enjoyable uh, projects in that. And as you can see, my uh, 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 interest in text and uh, this one has continued. This uh, the curator uh, and uh, given this uh, thing about we have to use a box, existing box, and then build a work around that. And uh, what you see on the left side is a wedding uh, uh, you know, invitation in a, in a round box. So I took that uh, uh, this one and then uh, on that only I uh, pasted these images and it's called contained cell uh, as if in, in, in your, uh, your mind or inside there's so many emotions and when you open the box uh, so many things are revealed and starts coming to the fore. This was one of the um, books which I showed in Delhi in a joint Indo-Korea artist show. Uh, um, this set of works, it looks like I'm completely working with artists, but there are other things going on in the studio. But again, as I said, um, one is the format of the, the show and also the duration of time, I can't bring in all the other uh, uh, kind of images here. And uh, last uh, eight, nine months, I've been working on a, a big sculptural installation using mesh and pulp and metal and all that. Uh, it should be shown in uh, Sumuka by here. And um, yeah, uh, um, there will be hardly any books there, which is a different kind of uh, project I've been uh, working on. Uh, the next few slides, I'm taking an entirely different uh, uh, group. I'm trying to see some more themes which have uh, appeared again and again in my work, uh, even though I'm uh, you know, uh, working in photograph or sculpture or paper, these um, ideas have come uh, are reappeared and uh, uh, haunted me. So I, have, uh, I thought I'd just uh, show a few of them to show the kind of uh, movement uh, that happens uh, in between the work and also in the way, you know, even after decades or two decades, some um, images uh, get repeated on uh, the recur. And, uh. So that was from the first uh, 91 last painting show. And uh, this one was from my uh, show of two years ago. Uh, these are objects uh, you know, arranged in the studio, like, like photographs, and they are uh, printed on archive paper and shown. 98 prints, uh, 88 <laughs> prints that in uh, Bangalore, and then later in. Uh, 2006 is a painting which I showed in the uh, 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 US, uh, the Palo Alto show which I had. Again, these are you know, uh, uh, analyzing which happens in inside, and one is trying to look back at the documentation and say, okay, this is what is happening there. I can see this link. It is not that I am trying to, okay, now I am going to make one more reinterpretation of the, you know, 10 years ago image like it doesn't happen. Uh, the effect of, uh, you know, flying and concern with being free. And This is another set of stories uh, where you are confronting the uh, animal and the darker forces within you and uh, either being succumbed to them or seeing yourself in a different way. I have a small uh, uh, this one. Uh, on the left hand uh, top corner, you are seeing that image. Kannadi ali kanda yaro vasaba nanariyada matthumba nannonage kandaga bechi bide illitta ishtu dina yari Vadagina Kathalu, Epu Betti the Kirataka. The inner darkness has manifested, and then this new person has appeared 
I mean, silent, I see him in the mirror and I'm astonished or rather horrified. So, that that uh, animal uh, is from the etching in 1993. Then I, I found a, 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 a terracotta sculpture uh, when I went to uh, Andhra, Vizak, uh, uh, the tribal sculpture. So suddenly I remembered that and then I got that. And then that became part of another drama. So the images keep uh, continuing. Set of analysis of my work, like how text image relationship are, the idea of Gandhi or Buddha appearing in different uh, ways, or how uh, they become very suggestive or they become very uh, you know, representational uh, in the direct. Uh, so these are all the uh, two things which happen when you look back, so that you want to to say, and then you pick up a, a different kind of understanding of what is happening in one's. Uh, This was in 93, the left one, and on the right, I was uh, going in Hyde Park and I saw this man. Oh my god, he's sitting there, my print. Uh, you know, I, I took a picture of that, became part of my other uh, photo book. I'm going to leave you with uh, um, this. These are some of the uh, for uh, example, uh, you know, what I do is each time when I am working, uh, whatever is somebody interesting to that particular set of works, I bring it out by watching them and putting it in my studio uh, so that you can keep seeing it again and again. And uh, it is uh, transforming into the actual work now. And uh, you can also see a, a, a book there, but that is car, you know, car with uh, AAC block. It's a cement block and it can have an entirely different orientation uh, when a book is made in stone and text starts coming and uh, so the fourth work that you see is what is uh, happening right now and that will be uh, one of the works in the I'm just going to end with one small uh, uh, poem which I wrote uh, recently. Because I started with this particles of truth. Nanu, Jiva da Kodu Venaku, Kana da Kinde in the Srivaga, Jimitaka Purivakana, Venaku Sarivaga, Agnata, Adrish. When you're going in uh, to the, the entire node is stuck up, and then you see particles of dust. So for that moment, you see the dust and then it's gone. So I'm Understanding myself as a particle of this just floating around, and there is light to dance, and then the light is not there, you know, that is it.